What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here with another review for Power Rangers Dino Fury. This is episode 10. This episode is titled Phoning Home. And before we get into this review, do me a favor. If you're watching this on JB's Cyberspace, or JB says, well, whichever one you are, whichever channel you guys are watching on, more specifically, JB Cyberspace, hit that subscribe button, guys. Now, I'm gonna put the information to the channel. If you're watching it on JB Says What, it'll be on the screen somewhere. It'll be in the description bar as well. And with that being said, you got, with that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about episode number 10, Phoning Home of Dino Fury. Very good episode. The Astro got introduced to a new character. Loved him. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, you guys. So this episode, we started up in area 62 and we see mucus. Mucus is with our new character that we are being introduced to. So our new character, what they're doing is she's powering it up. And I'm like, wait a minute, Void Knight let Mucus build something? I hope it's not defective. I hope it's not like Mucus. So it's, an, it's the new general and the new general's name is Slyther. So what Mucus was doing, she was uploading data on the Rangers to Slyther and then Void Knight takes one of his which that's very interesting but you know with Boom Tower you learn he learned that all right you guys so this episode it opens up and we see that um Mucus she has built the new general in Slyther so what she's doing is she is uploading data into Slyther about the Rangers. And Void Knight, he puts us, takes one of his Sporex Beasts out and he places the Sporex Beast inside of Slyther because you guys remember when um, Boom Tower took one of the Sporex Beasts that allowed him to grow. Which I was actually surprised that Void Knight took one of his own Sporex Beasts out. To, you know, that's powering up his... Um, that's powering his his jukebox. Interesting. Well, you know what? Excuse me, I didn't mean to burp in your face. If Slyther is defeated, then that Sporex beast will come back, so he'll be able. It'll. But in that at that point, it could go to either him or the Rangers. Very interesting, isn't it? So, when Slyther comes to, we find out that Slyther has the ability to shape shift. He shapeshifted into Void Knight. And Mucus, she wants to be friends with Slyther, but Slyther is like, absolutely not. And Slyther is voiced by Campbell Cooley. Campbell does a great job with his voiceover work. I love it, it's amazing. So we see Solon and Zato. So Solon and Zato have this device that they're using. And what they're trying to do is, if there are still people on planet Raftcon, they want to be able to reach out to them and just see if life still exists on Rapcon. So while they're doing this in the bushes, which we saw this picture when um, before Dino Fury even premiered, where Slyther was hiding in the bushes. So Slyther was hiding, eavesdropping on Zato and on Solon. We're going to pause here, and then I'll move forward, you guys. All right, you guys. So over at Buzz Blast, we see Jane, and Jane is doing a review of a product for a cat. So she takes this cat collar, and she puts it around um, Jay Borg's neck. So Jay Borg thinks that she's a cat. Mind you, there is a dog in the, in the building. Now, I will say that this scene with them, it was funny. You know, the cat and the dog were chasing after each other, which, funny. Funny. I'm going to give it to them. That was kind of funny. So we see the Rangers, they're training. And while they're out there, there's this big cloud that comes over and boom, you know, a clasp of thunder and, you know, and lightning strikes. And up appears this mysterious figure by the name of Arla. Now, Arla tells Zato and the others that she is from the planet Raftcon. And Zato is immediately happy to see someone from his planet. And you guys, she's able to extend her antennas. I'm like, oh wow, this is interesting. And I'm like, Zato, no, this is too good to be true. Like 
you just sent the signal out. I don't know how many light years away, you know, Ravcon is, but don't be so trusting of everyone. And that's, that's just in general. So Arla says that she is there on a mission with advanced, she has advanced technology that can destroy the sports beast. So the Rangers take her, teleport her back to the base. Now when they get back to the base, um, yeah, yeah. So when they get back to the base, Solon is like, who is this? Why did y'all just freely bring her back? Which is a good question. Why did y'all just freely bring this woman here? And Solon is skeptical of her. And then she's like, you know, how did you get here? She said her ship. And Solon was like, but we would have, our sensors would have detected you. You know, our, our technology would have detected you. And she's like, oh, your technology is out of date. And I was like, oh, wow. Not out of date technology. And I'm glad, I'm glad someone was skeptical of Slyther and Solon. So, so, so Slyther tells them, oh, I'm tired. And I'm like, oh, you can go sleep in one of our pods. So when she goes to the pod, she transforms back into Slyther and she calls Void Knight and she tells Void Knight, you know, she's close to getting the Sporus Beast. She just needs for the Rangers to be distracted, which Void Knight does. He goes to, you know, um, what does he do? He and Hingeman go into the city to wreak havoc and the Rangers leave the base to go take care of Void Knight. So I'm gonna pause here and we're gonna move. Forward. All right, you guys. So meanwhile, I'm back at the base. We see Solon. So Solon, she's still, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm, she's still, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. She's still very skeptical of Miss Arla. And you know, she, um, earlier in the episode, she went to Zato and she gave Zato a treat that she thought, well, she knows from Ravcon, but she didn't realize that she actually fed him dog food. <laughs> so she fed it to Arla and Arla's like, oh my God, this is so good. And she's like, you're not from Ravcon because if you were, you would know that that's dog food. So that's when Arla reveals herself to be Slyther. <clears throat> so Solon teleports she and Slyther out of the base and they start to battle with each other and, you know, she zaps her, to, you know, disabling Solon. And she takes Solon's, um, her, her communicator and she goes back to the base, well, he goes back to the base. <clears throat> and while in the base, you know, um, the others, you know, teleport back and they're like, where is Solon? And Slyther comes up with this lie about Solon. So the others, they leave to go try to find Solon and Zato, he's still with um, Arla. And while he's with Arla, he notices Solon's, you know, calm. And then they go over by the where the sports are and Slyther asks, how do you open it? Zato opens it and then Zato touches Slyther and that's when he reads Slyther's mind to find out that Slyther is not Arla. So then Zato teleports him and Slyther out of the base. And then he calls the others and the others join him in battle. I will say that I think, I know I'm gonna enjoy Slyther. I'm actually, so my two favorite villains right now are, actually my three favorite villains of this series, of this show has been Mucus, Boom Tower, and now Slyther. And I actually do like Void Knight, but my top three, those are, those are the ones. So the Rangers battle with Slyther and Slyther grows. And when Slyther grew, he shapeshifted into Rustafa. So the Rangers call him the Zords without Solon and Zato used the phrase, Zato is cool. I was like, okay, Zato, I see you. So the Rangers, they battle with Slyther and they're able to defeat Slyther in that form. He turns back into himself and he hits a power line. And when he hit that power line, that zapped his memory and mucus finds him and he, she was like oh your your memory's been zapped and mucus again like i said i love mucus because she was about to tell him that he hates her and she's like oh no we're the best of buds we're best friends gotta love mucus so then back in the base you know zato is apologizing to solon for the way that he treated her earlier and Zay and um, Solon is like I apologize for feeding you dog food and that's where the episode ended they're good so be sure to like this video you guys 
leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video. Until the next one, stay safe and take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, wear your mask or not, whichever one you choose to do, be safe, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.